Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to directly upload GSTR1 to the portal using the Mark software. First, let's understand what is GSTR1. GSTR1 is a monthly or quarterly return who need to be filed by all taxpayers registered under GST. And in this, it is also necessary you need to provide details of outward supplies. Means, you have to provide the return details of the total sales of the month or the quarter for which you are filing the return. And, Mark Software provides a provision to easily upload GSTR1 directly to the portal. Let's come and see its process. Firstly, you need to enable API access on the GST portal. For that, visit www.gst.gov.in, click on Login, enter your username and password, and then the characters shown in the image. Mention that characters here, and click on Login. Then come to the top right side of the screen, and click on My Profile. Then from the Quick Links, click on Manage API Access, and from the Enable API Request, select Yes. After that, select the duration, for example, 6 hours, means, during GSTR 1 upload, you'll receive an OTP on your registered mobile number valid for 6 hours, means, you can upload as many JSON files as needed within this time frame, and after 6 hours, when you go for reconciliation again, you'll need to provide OTP for downloading the JSON file. Similarly, if you select 30 days, you can upload files within that time frame and need to provide OTP again after 30 days. So, you will mention duration according to your requirement and click on confirm. After that, let's move on to the software. Either come to the GST2 GSTR settings to common GST settings and mention GST and user, or come to the eBay to login details and edit it. Then mention the GST and login details. And note that, you mentioned that login details here from which you log into the GST portal. After that, come to the GST to GSTR1 and select the period for which you want to upload GSTR1. Click on Show. Then, click on GSTR1 Returns. Then select the format in which you want to upload. For example, we select GST and JSON file. Then select Upload Live. It means GSTR1 will be live directly on the portal. And note that this option appears only if you've mentioned GST login details in the software. Then mention the authorized signatory pan. And it is mandatory. Click on OK. And if you wish, you can also select these options here. Whether you want to include B2B credit note registered nil entries in exempted. You want to include B2C credit note unregistered nil entries in exempted. Similarly, you can choose whether you want to include HS and summary and document details or not. So, you can select these options according to your preference and click on start. And now, on which location JSON file is generated, whose path is showing here, click on OK. Now for example, if you selected 6 hours or 30 days on the GST portal, so the first time when you will upload GSTR1, the software will ask for OTP, you will mention the OTP to verify. Then again, OTP window will open. It means, if you are confirmed to upload GSTR1, so, you need to enter the OTP that you received on your registered email ID, which will be in alphanumeric format, and verify it. After verification, the GSTR1 will be uploaded, and the reference number will be displayed, and here you'll see that return file. After that, if you again click on GSTR1 returns, you'll notice that the upload live button is now disabled. So in this way friends, you can directly upload GSTR1 to the portal using Mark software. Thanks for watching.